basically a peasant um, menu from Spain, um, paella, uh, a seafood terrain, we like a seafood terrain we would do for competition. I'm just going to quickly, a paella, there's paellas are different in um, various parts of Spain, obviously from Barcelona right through to Valencia, the different places, it depends, the ingredients vary, some of them have snails in them, some of them have rabbit in them, some of them just have fish in them, some of them just have chicken in them, but they all vary in different parts of Spain. And that means then that you can get out all the breast instead of trying to cut around the waistbone. Straight down the back, turn it over and just quickly take it off. That's one breast. And that's the two. Then uh, they get the top of proper garlic bulb, whereas we only get an onion. But it's still nice to use. Are. I mean, yeah. the, the badly chickens are not uh, yeah. open side your eggs and not <laughs> taste the garlic. Yeah. The, the shells are porous, the egg shells are porous, so they take any, any flavour. If you want onion flavoured or if you want garlic flavoured, just put a raw onion in with them and seal it. And <laughs> By far better. By so far. Everybody would use that, would they? Yeah. chickens are by far superior than other chickens. Okay. Okay. I don't remember where the. No. They were frozen. Oh, right. They were frozen. Tiger prawns, black tiger prawns. Yeah. You'll never get them fresh here. Yeah. You know. They're from. Uh, Thailand or wherever where the they don't even know. Yeah. Doesn't really matter anymore. Not any hurry. I don't have bother well, you add your stock, and it's the same. It's the same procedure as, as uh, risotto. You add some stock, and then you cook it down. You add more stock. It's the same. But once you've added all the stock, once it's started to cook out, and you, you put it usually, if it's in the pie pan, you put it in the oven. There's more flavour of these, and the crab, the, the actual crab meat, goes off very quickly. A couple of days at the most, you'd, you'd be lucky to have it for two days, even in your fridge. This here, these here would keep considerably longer. So if you're buying, these are more expensive, but they're far better if you want crab. Use it the cause. You could use tin You could use tin Alright, so we add our eggs to it just. It's not really a, 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 you can see it sitting there, it's not really that presented, but the flavour is far better than what it actually looks like. And hopefully Betsy's getting this all plated for you in there and you're ready to eat it, because it doesn't take much more to do this now. So, I'm going to place here. Yeah. 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 Some herbs here. I've got some dill here and some parsley. Herbs are optional. What you like yourself. I mean, if you like, I like dried oregano. You know, well up margarine.
uh, six ounces of caster sugar. Now you can use granulated sugar if you want, it doesn't have to be caster, but caster dissolves quicker and it's more expensive but it's easier to so there's about six ounces. Okay. Okay, so what you do is you, you, you make a I'm going to sell that there. Too late now. Right? So, um, so I'm just going to put the juice in. <laughs> but anyway, the um, the whenever you separate your eggs, put them in the fridge the egg weights, especially. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That's the demonstration over now. Make sure you buy plenty. And hopefully, we'll see you again sometime. Thank you very much. And I really enjoy the souffle. It's really lovely, and I, I definitely will make that at home. Very nice. So the paella was lovely too. Uh, just all the different types of fish in it. It was very nice. Would you be someone who would cook a lot? I do, yes. And, and the man would say, does he cook? He does, yes. What did you make of tonight? I very much enjoyed it. All different flavours. Really enjoyable. Will you try this at home? D uh, the pudding, yes, yes. definitely. Oh, is, that a, is that a roll? Is that a job? I, I'll, I'll give him the job, yes, of making the souffle. <laughs> He'd probably stand over me and tell me how to make it. <laughs> very good, very entertaining. Full of good tips, good, good practical tips for cooking. What, what was your favourite part of the evening? Eating the food. It was delicious, absolutely delicious. And we had a, um, I can't remember the titles of the thing, but a fish uh, terrain to start with, followed by paella, followed by um, an orange souffle ice cream, which was absolutely delicious.